Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So it's about that time of year again when the hedgehogs are looking for somewhere to hibernate, somewhere to keep warm and safe. So in this video I decided to make a simple hedgehog hibernation box just out of scrap wood. There's some scrap ply and some scrap feather edge board there and it's quite simple to do. So let's get into it. So I started off with a basic sketch of the hedgehog box and the dimensions will be down in the description box below. To make the box I'm going to be using some scrap pieces of uh, feverage board, an old piece of pine and some plywood melamine. I started off by ripping down the old piece of pine and this will make up the front and back section of the box. It's a nice thick um, old piece of pine. Then I ripped down the plywood melamine and this will be the base. The melamine will help to prevent moisture coming up through the floor and prevent rot. I took a speed square and marked up the two sections for the front and back of the box. And I'm using the base as a kind of template because I want the back and front to be the same width as the base. Now I'm using two rulers because I want to work out the angle that I want. So um, I'm just marking up here at the top once I've got the angle that I like. It doesn't really matter what the angle is. Then with the other ruler I could mark up these lines ready to cut out. And I did the same with the other section. So then I used the jigsaw to cut out the front and back section. And I ended up with two identical pieces. Now I wanted to mark up a section for the entrance to the box. I did a bit of research on the internet and found out that 13 centimeters by 13 centimeters is roughly the right size for um, an adult hedgehog. So now I'm just finding the center and then marking the outer parts and the top. Then I could use an old biscuit tin to uh, use as a template for the rounded edge of the top. And then again with the jigsaw I could cut out the entrance. I could then offer up the front section to the base and draw around it and then I can mark up some areas to uh, add some screws. I'm going to draw some pilot holes here and the same with the back section. Could then drill some pilot holes in the base. And then using some exterior grade um, wood glue, I could start to add the front and back to the base. I'm using plenty of glue to get a really good connection here. And then I can drive in some screws from underneath. 
I'm using a clamp just to help me here. I then just gave the screws a hand tightening and used a damp cloth to remove the excess glue. Then I could add the back section in the same way. For the main section of the box I'm going to be painting it with some dark oak stain and this is a water based stain. Because the wood is quite rough I thought the dark stain would make it all nice and uniform and just tidy it up a bit. Now for the top I've got this scrap of 20mm um, plywood. I'm going to uh, cut a 40 centimeter section and this will slightly overhang at the front and the back of the box. So now with the miter saw I can cut that section out. Now I can offer it up and make some marks so that I can drill some pilot holes to attach it. Now with a tape measure I'm just roughly working out where these holes need to go and trying to make them as uniform as possible so they look neat and tidy and I can then drill the pilot holes. And I used a countersink bit to countersink for the screw heads. I added more wood glue and screwed in the top. I then just gave it a light sanding down to remove any rough edges and then I could paint this top section the same colour as the rest. And I also gave a second coat to uh, the front and back of the box. So I'm going to use this old scrap feather edge board that I have at the back of my shed for the sides. I marked up 40 centimeter sections here so that they can match the top and there'll be a slight overhang at the front and back. And I could start cutting these out on the miter saw using the first one as a template for the rest. So I have this uh, pale green stain, I'm going to stain the sides this colour, I thought it would give a nice contrast. So I added two coats of stain to the feather edge board.
and I made sure to get plenty on the end grains. So now I could add these to the sides. I've got an off cut of wood there and I'm using that just as a rough guide to make sure everything is in line. And I'm drilling pilot holes here and I'm going to use screws. The first section is slightly off the ground. It's not in contact with the ground and that will prevent it from rotting. Once the first one was on, I could use a combination square just to match up the um, the overlap and then drill through some more pilot holes and add some more screws. Then I could add the final section. and add a final two screws at the top to lock everything into place. Then I could repeat this process on the other side and you can see that the roof is slightly overhanging the top piece of feather edge and that will keep it watertight. And that was the box all done. So that's about it for this video. A quick and easy hedgehog box just made out of scrap wood. I'm sure that it will hold up for a number of years it's quite solid and quite heavy and the sort of melamine on the bottom should protect the wood from rot so I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out why not make one yourself for your garden to attract some hedgehogs they are endangered so they need all the help that they can get so if you did enjoy the video please remember to like and also consider subscribing for more DIY related videos and as always thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time